Sir Desmond, are you uh, going straight back to Harley Street? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I couldn't really afford the time to come down here this afternoon, but I thought I'd better pay my last respects to the old boy. Tomorrow may be too late. Mm, doubt if you'll last the night, poor old stick. Rich old stick. <laughs> oh, I don't suppose I'll see him again. No, I expect you'll miss him. Yes. I'll miss his money. <laughs> ah, do you know he was quite a nice chap? No doubt you won't starve, though. No, no, can't complain. Business is booming. Especially since I got my uh, knighthood. Yes. Oh, congratulations on that. <laughs> well, I'm a stash. I've got Sir Brian Peake coming at midday. You know Sir Brian, of course. No, no, I don't. Oh, come now, Geoffrey. You must know Sir Brian, the cabinet minister. Well, I know you mean, but I've never met him. Really? <laughs> you must get out more, Geoffrey. I tell you what, you shall come to one of my cocktail parties. Yes, you might find it jolly useful. We'll get an OBE for you yet, Geoffrey. Oh, my name's not Sir Desmond Plumley Wright. Well, as a matter of fact, the uh, possibility has been hinted to me. Oh, an OBE? No, 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 no. Uh, knighthood. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll uh, we'll have to put in a word for you in the right places, won't we? Eh? No, would you? Um, would you like to come and see my new research unit? I'm doing some very interesting work. Oh, is it going to take long? No, 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 no. And I do think you'll find it rather impressive. Yeah. Ah. Wow! 22% proof alcohol. Oh, <laughs> that tip from Dr. Aziz really worked. <laughs> oh, yes. What's that? Putting curry powder into the wine. <laughs> what? Gives it a real kick. Here, try some. You won't catch me drinking that rubbish again. Chateau bottled claret from your uncle's French estate, indeed. They are crying out for each other, Institute of Preventive Medicine. I'm not surprised it'll kill anything. They're probably using it as a disinfectant. <laughs> a great idea. I can see it now. All we've got to do is change the labels. Chateau bottled disinfectant. <laughs> hey, they're not supposed to bleed me. I've got the afternoon off. Well, you better go and see what it is. Oh. I'll come with you. I've got to change for my lunch date. Well, aren't you putting that wine away first? No, it'll be all right. There'll only be Duncan working in here this afternoon. Come on. We're in a rather exciting area of research. In fact, I think you might say we're leading the field in the catheter area. No one. In the catheter area. Oh, I thought you said cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> After you, Sir Desmond. Thank you. Sorry about that. Yes, you seem to run an obstacle course here. Eh? Uh, well, well, what is all this liquid? I, uh, I, uh... Hmm. Blood plasma? Yes. Yes, more than likely. Then I wonder why you keep it in wine bottles. Hello, what's this? Oh, don't touch that. Oh, no, is it important? No, it's a mousetrap. <laughs> Well, Geoffrey, you tell me this place is impressive. <laughs> it's a squalid hole. Call now! Uh, Sir Desmond, Sir Desmond, come over here, quickly. Why, what's, uh, what's the hurry? Well, that flashing light means that radiation's coming up through the floor from X-ray. It's dangerous. Good God. <laughs> well, I mean, can't you get this place insulated? No, 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 can't afford it. We had to beg for the flashing light. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, I must rush. Uh, you know, Geoffrey, between you and me, I don't think that this little setup's going to help your knighthood very much. Oh, don't bother to see me out. <laughs> a doctor's life is not an happy one. <laughs> oh, I'm very sorry, sir. Mm. Oh, we spread confusion and seclusion in the private wards of hospitals. 
Devastation in the nurses, chase and alls, chase and alls. Cause a doctor's life is just a lot of wearing. <laughs> Do you mind telling me just exactly what's going on in this lab? Um, oh, research into plastic catheters, sir. It was your idea, don't you remember? Yes, Waring, I do remember. I'm not yet completely senile. No, sir. Oh, no, sir. No. <laughs> no. No. What's all this wine? Uh, claret, sir. Oh, oh no, I'm still wearing. <laughs> no, it's dangerous, sir. Stand still. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. So am I, Waring. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> oh, what's the matter with you? My bloody afternoon off, and I've got to take over from Dr. McCluskey. Idiot's gone down with food poisoning. Oh, I, I saw him drinking some of my wine last night. That'll be it. And I was looking forward to a nice drive in the country. Oh, I thought your car was laid up. Oh, Duncan's lending me his American job. Lend me a spare set of keys. Oh, if you can't use it, I'll borrow it. I'm meeting this bird in the fir trees. He won't mind, will he? And I suppose you want me to square it with him? Please. Mm. And tell your bootlegger friend Collier to get his illicit still out of here. Oh, no, no, no. Stills are for spirits and not, not wine. When I want a lecture on the difference between spirits and wine wearing, I should go to my local tavern. Just get this place cleaned up. Sir. Oh, my God. Sir Desmond's left his bag. Who, sir? Sir Desmond Plumley Wright. He's on his way back to Harley Street. Let's <coughs> get it to him. He's seeing a cabinet minister at noon. Oh, uh, well, perhaps I could take it in my car, sir. It's outside. What? Yes. Yes, good idea. I dare say that's the nearest you'll ever get to Harley Street. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, phone him and tell him you're on the way. What do you mean your car's gone? My car has gone, sir. What are you hanging about for? Get a cab, you fool. Just get that bag to Sir Desmond's surgery. Uh, I, I can't, sir. I've lost it. Lost it? How could you have lost it? Think where you put it, man. Yes, sir. I put it in my car and my car has been stolen. Maybe the police towed it away. Not from the hospital car park, sir. Did you lend it to anybody? Yes! That's it! <laughs> Yeah. Well, I said Stuart Clark could borrow it, and uh, he's off duty today. Thank goodness. Uh, Duncan. Oh, excuse me, sir. Clark, I'm have just... you driven away wearing car? No, no, no. Well, I just came in to tell him. That. Later, Clark. Oh, God. Out of the way, sir. I just. Clark, we're in the middle of a crisis. This is no time for one of your daily gossips with Waring. His car's missing. Police, please. Sir, I've just come in to tell. Get him. out! Oh, all right. <laughs> ah, th 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 this is Professor Lofters from St. Swithin's Hospital. I want to report a stolen car. It must be found. It contains a doctor's bag with drugs in it. What sort of car is it? Oh, an Oldsmobile, sir. The age is immaterial. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Now, here's the owner, though I doubt if it'd be much help. Thank you, sir. Hello? Idiot! Sir? Oh, shut up, car. <laughs> yeah, a powder blue Oldsmobile. 6DXB. 1962. Yeah, tough. Gee, what a mess. I know where your car is, if it's any help. What? Well, if you hurry, you'll find it in the car park at the fir trees. What? How the hell? I had to work this afternoon, so I lent it to Paul. You don't mind, do you? I don't mind. No, I didn't think you would. <laughs> no, you, you tell Loftus I've gone to get it. There's a bag in it belonging to Sir Desmond Plumley Wright. Oh, Sir Desmond, you don't know him, do you? Do you know? I met him at one of his cocktails. Oh, I don't believe it! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> nice and handy. I wasn't sure I'd recognise you. I knew I'd recognise you. <laughs> oh, I'm awfully sorry, but I can't remember your name. Oh, it's Anne, uh, with an E. Oh. I remember your name. Oh, good. It's David, isn't it? No, Paul. Oh, oh that's nice. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. 
You're a doctor, aren't you, Paul? Well, a radiologist, as a matter of fact. Oh, what's that? Oh, x-rays, you know, radiation, nuclear physics, that sort of thing. <laughs> there are very few of us in the field I work in. Well, you work in a field? <laughs> no, you don't quite understand. Um, what, what do you do? Oh, I'm a beauty consultant. Oh, really? Yeah, I work on the cosmetics counter in Jackson's. <laughs> you know, in the high street. Oh. oh, do you see that super big American car outside? Did you like it? Oh, yeah. I bet you fancy a ride in it. Not half. It's mine, you know. It isn't. Hey, where'd you get it? Stateside. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's near Watford, isn't it? No, no, in the States. Uh, US of A. America. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> You've been there? Sure. Come on, drink up, baby. I'll take you for a spin. <laughs> Somebody's stolen my car! All right, sir. You are the owner of this vehicle, I take it? <laughs> yes, yes. It's a lovely big American car. Oh, good. Well, that should make it nice and easy to trace. <laughs> now then, here we are. First question. Owner's full names. Waring. Duncan Waring. Duncan? She just called you Paul. Uh, Duncan Paul Waring. <laughs> sir, I did say full names. Yes, I'm so sorry. Mr. Duncan Paul Waring. Uh, doctor. Doctor. Excuse me, Doctor. Hello? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. uh, excuse me a moment, Doctor. Uh, Constable, take Dr. Waring down into interview room one, will you, and take particulars of the stolen vehicle? Uh, yes, Soldier. This way, Doctor. Yes, uh, Anne, why don't you wait out here? Well, no, I'm... Come along, Dr. Waring. We want to find your car for you. Yes, yes. the owner of this vehicle? Yes. It may interest you to know that this vehicle has been reported stolen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the report's gone out. You can't have gone far. Okay. Mind you, Dr. Wellen, it would help if you could remember the registration number. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, uh, being an American car, it's only just been registered here. You do not understand. This is my car. I reported it stolen. <laughs> you reported what? I reported my car stolen. I see. What are you doing now? Driving to the police station to collect it? <laughs> <laughs> this is a ridiculous waste of time for everybody. All right. Who's this? Driving a stolen vehicle, a blue Oldsmobile. He has been cautioned. Oh, blimey, that's quick. We haven't had a report out long. <laughs> Constable, take him down to room two. <sighs> he says he's the owner. <laughs> well, he would, wouldn't he? <laughs> Here's the doctor's back. Oh, he'd be pleased to have that back. DPW. Yes, that's Dr. Waring's, all right. <laughs> well, Dr. Waring, we'll contact you at St. Smithings as soon as we've found your car. We've found it. Great! And here is your bag, sir. Uh, thank you. 
Yeah, the only trouble is, of course, that Villain claims that he owns the car. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yes, go in there and take down his particulars, and I'll come in and sort oh, him out. Don't want to worry about this, Doctor Ware, and they always try it on, you know. <laughs> yeah. So you're the owner of this car, are you? Yes, I yes, am, sir. and I'm in a hurry. All right, sir, calm down. Let's just take a few details. <clears throat> now then, what's your name? Waring. <laughs> <laughs> What's your first name? Duncan. <laughs> Profession? Doctor. <laughs> Just a moment, sir. Oh. <laughs> excuse me, Sergeant. Uh, might I have a word with you, please? Oh, yes, sir. Excuse me, Doctor. Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly. <laughs> uh, that geezer they just brought in there, do you know what his name is? That's what I told you to find out. Yeah, well, he says his name is Dr. Duncan Waring. And he says that he's the owner of the car. You sure? Yeah, well, ask him yourself. Before you answer this question, I must warn you that the penalties for obstructing the police in the execution of their duty are very severe. What is your name? Duncan Waring! Have you got any means of identity, like oh. a certificate of insurance, a driving licence, anything like that? Look, I came out in a hurry and I forgot... Oh, I see. Yeah. Look, I do not appreciate being kept here against my will for driving my own car! Now, look here, sir. We've got our job to do like you've got yours. That car was reported stolen, you were driving it, you have no means of identification. How am I supposed to carry my passport with me, or uh, my birth minute. certificate, or would you like to check my fingerprints, or have a look at my appendix car, or ring me dentist and ask how many fillings I've got, or ring me mother and she'll tell you I've got a bloody great mole on me bum! <laughs> You're not helping yourself yelling and shouting like that, you Excuse me a moment. Has the other one got any means of identification? No, he hasn't. <laughs> Something fishy going on here. <laughs> yes, sir. We've got two, two Dr. Wearies, both claiming they own the same vehicle, and neither of them have any proof of identity. He's the real Dr. Wearing. Where? Well, he came here voluntarily to report the car stolen. I mean, he wouldn't have done that if he'd nicked it, now would he? <laughs> it's very true, Constable. Also, he's got a witness. That girl. Oh. <laughs> Dr. Waring, yes. do you have anybody who could vouch for you? Oh, I can. Well, I'm afraid you're an interested party, Miss. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is there anybody else who could vouch for you? Well, I, I, I could phone St. Swithin's, uh, where I work. Uh, I'll phone Dr. Dick Stewart Clark. Uh, he'll soon come down here and identify me. Oh, well, that should soon sort things out, sir. Stuart Clark, I've come to identify Duncan Waring. Very good of you to come down so quickly, Dr. Stuart Clark. Oh. There's a little confusion over Dr. Waring. We'd be very grateful if you would help us out with. My pleasure, dear fellow. In there, sir, please. Yeah, of course. Now, then, sir, would you be kind enough to identify this gentleman? Yes, he's Dr. Duncan Waring. You see? <laughs> <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Would you come with me, Dr. Stuart Clark? <laughs> <laughs> what for? Collect my reward? <laughs> <laughs> Just want to see a few. Uh, no, this other gentleman, sir. Uh, anything to oblige? Here, please. Anything to oblige. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Now then, sir. You, uh, you don't know him by any chance? <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, I do. I do. You do? Who is he? Uh, he he's Dr. Um, uh, uh, Duncan Well. <laughs> <laughs> You've been a great help, you have, sir. <laughs> And I'm charging you with obstructing the police in the execution of their duty. <laughs> what? And someone take him down. That's his stuff. That's his stuff. That's his stuff. You can't charge me. I'm a doctor. Wait, wait. Wait now. Uh, ah, don't say a word, either of you. <laughs> Just look at each other and think. Ah, oh. constable, I'll leave that one with you. <laughs> Officer, I have something I'd like to say. Oh, yes. Yes. My name is really Dr. Paul Collier. Sergeant, I want to come clean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my name is really Dr. Paul Collier. <laughs> Paul Collier. Hang on there a minute. <laughs> he says his name is Dr. Dr. Paul Collier. <laughs> eh? I've got to ring the hospital. When I ask for something, it should be brought at once. This is a busy hospital. I'm responsible for the lives of these patients. 
It's no use at all bringing it ten minutes late and cold when it should be hot. And about time, too. <laughs> ah, that's what I call a good cup of tea. Oh! Oh, Sir Desmond, I didn't know you were here. Oh, thank you. Well, I am. Yes, the old boy sent for me just before the end. Now then, Loftus, what is all this about a stolen car? What am I to do? Where is my bag? I cannot possibly attend to any of my patients until I have my instruments back. Yes, yes, I, I, I'm sorry, Sir Desmond. It's no use being sorry, Loftus. It just simply isn't good enough. Oh, no, couldn't we, uh, uh, couldn't we discuss this somewhere else? Oh, uh, excuse me. Hello? Who do you want? Oh, me. Oh, good. <laughs> yes? Ah, you found it. Well done, Sergeant. Where? Yes. Yes, I will. That's the police. They found the thief who stole the car with your bag in it. And they think I might be able to identify him. I have to go to the police station. Very well, I'll take you there in my car. <laughs> I'm Professor Loftus. Oh, yeah? Have <laughs> <laughs> you got any means of identification? Oh, uh, very well, if you insist. <laughs> now, we have here two Dr. Wearings and two Dr. Colliers. <laughs> God help you. <laughs> you come this way, sir. We're ready and wait for you. All right. Who are these people? That is Dr. Waring. That is Dr. Collier. What are they doing here? They are going to be charged with obstructing the police. <laughs> and you, Dr. Waring, will be charged with exceeding the speed limit. God knows what I'm going to charge you with, but I've got plenty of choice. This is the last straw. <laughs> no, no, it isn't, no. I've got another one of your doctors down in the cells. <laughs> that has to be Stuart Clark. If you don't mind me saying so, sir, you've got a right load of old rubbish here. <laughs> if this is a sample of your young doctors, good help me if I come across any of your students. Yeah, yeah. here. <laughs> and now perhaps you will let me have my bag and I can go. What bag? <laughs> that bag. Oh, I, I wonder who this belonged to. Thank you. Oi! <laughs> 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 well, this all seems to have been a silly misunderstanding. I assure you that I shall take disciplinary measures. I see. Thank you very much indeed, Professor. The main thing is that we pacify Sir Desmond. He's a very important chap, you know. <laughs> My car has been stolen. <laughs> Do you leave it outside? Yes. Yeah. Uh, been towed away. No parking. Did you see that sign? I have to be at Harley Street in 20 minutes. Oh, uh, perhaps I could give you a lift in my car, Sir Desmond. Mm, is that your car? Oh, shh. <laughs> yes, well, I am relieved, Loftus, that there appears to be one person in St. Swithin's with his wits about him. 